So this is my first 3D tutorial and what we're going to do is a nice simple tutorial and we're going to create a softbox style effect. Um, if you don't know what a softbox is, it's something that was used by photographers and still is actually um, and it gives off a, a nice, it's a light that gives off a nice kind of diffused light. And um, we're going to create a sort of fake softbox in Cheetah um, which is really easily done and it gives you some nice effects. So I'll show you what we're going to create. We're going to create something that looks a little bit like this. Okay, so you can see we've got an object here, a nice simple uh, helix that's got a sweep creator, and we've got some really nice reflections going on there. We've got some real depth to those reflections, and we haven't got HDRI, we haven't, we've got no radiosity on that. In fact, we're actually using the camera light, which most people hate, but you can get some good results out of it occasionally. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to have to create our object. So we're going to add a helix and I'm going to rotate that roughly 90 degrees, it doesn't matter if it's exact. And I'm then going to go in and add a circle. I'll then add a sweep creator. And with our sweep creator we need to drop our two objects into that in the object browser down there. And you can see what's happened is we've got the order wrong, so we need to make sure the circle's top in the order, and then we need to scale down our circle till we get something that you're happy with. Your shape doesn't have to be like this, it doesn't have to be anything like this really. We're just looking for something that's fairly interesting that's going to give us some interesting reflections. So that's our modeling done for this one really. Um, the next thing we're going to do is add a plane, and this is going to be our softbox. Again, we don't really want that inside the sweep, so let's move that out of the sweep. And we'll scale it up a little bit, and then we're going to move it up. And just set it above. Okay, that's great. It doesn't matter if that's obscure in the view at all. So, next thing we're going to do is add a material. First material we're going to create is for our helix. And we're going to create something with a nice deep red, I think. Somewhere around there, something like that. Choose what you want though, have a little play around, have an experiment. Okay, so that's a colour sorted. We're going to need some reflection, otherwise we're not going to get much working from our softbox. We're not going to see any reflection, so let's take that about a quarter of the way up. And you see in the little preview down here that that's looking fairly good already. We're going to check the Fresnel option here as well, which gives a little bit more depth to your reflections. Okay, that's great. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, one more thing. I need to turn off the specular. We'll turn the specular right down to black. And we're going to drag that onto our helix. Okay, great. Now we're going to need to create a material for our softbox. And we're going to set the diffuse to almost white. Just a slightly off white. Just a slightly sort of cream white colour. Probably a little bit much there, actually, I'll just bring that back a touch. Okay, and then we're going to do the same in the emissive channel here. So almost white, again just slightly off. There we go. So I'm going to add that to our plane. And that's pretty much it. We're just going to be tweaking from here on in, really. So we'll give that a quick render. And you can see we've got some nice reflections going on already but our shape doesn't quite have enough geometry in it so the way we're going to get around that is we're going to select our sweep and we're going to add a subdivision to that which will smooth that out which you can see it's done in the preview there now our soft box we've got sat just above uh, you can create as many of these things as you like and, and play around with them but what we're going to need to do to remove it from the render is we're going to need to add a render tag to that so, render tags are here, and yeah, I was right in the first place. So we have the render tag, and the one we're wanting to uncheck is visible for primary rays. What that will do is remove it from the render, but it will leave it passing on all the information that it needs to pass on. So we will do that, and then I think we're going to duplicate the softbox and drop one below. So we're going to copy and paste our softbox, and then we're going to move it down. Again, I'm not, we're not looking for perfection here, we're just moving things around, seeing what effects we can get, seeing how that works, see what happens. 
play with the scale. So both of these have got the same render type applied, and we'll give that a render. And there we are. So you can see we've got some real nice reflections going on here, and we're using the camera light as well. We've got no HDRI, we've got no radiosity, no ambient occlusion, nothing like that, but we've got some really sort of deep reflections. Uh, they look pretty real. And that's it for this one, so thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll make some more soon.